I've had success in the material world. I've done something I wanted to do. I've had an ideal life. So I can't possibly, I can only tell you what it means to me, which is happiness. Let's round up. <laughs> you, you died. Do you think about death? Yeah, yes. I'm old now, <coughs> you know. But then there's a lovely song by Gretchen Peters. There's a wonderful line in it that says, when you are old, death no longer makes you weep. You don't worry about death as much as you get older than you did when you because you were always worried about your mother and father dying. Do you remember that? Mm. But now, no, get older. There's a kind of acceptance. Hopefully I'll cling to the wreckage as long as I can. Indeed. And when you die, gone. Yeah. OK. Come up and see. I don't believe in heaven and I don't believe in hell. Uh, I don't believe we're going anywhere. I think this is it. I can understand why people whose lives are dreadful, whose lives are poverty-stricken or painful, why they would feel and hope that there was some eternal reward that they could go to where, where their spiritual life would be a great deal better. But certainly, at this stage of my life, I don't need that. This is it. OK, last question. Mm. Breath, sigh of relief. <laughs> Suppose it's all true, what the Jays told you in the Crescent and in Belvedere. When you meet that great director general in the sky, what will you say to him? I look around a bit and I think of saying, where am I? And then, you're having me on. I don't believe this. <laughs> but I'll take it if it's there. <laughs> <laughs> Won't we all, dear? Won't oh. we all? <laughs> Thank you very much. My pleasure. Thank you, Gabe.